Hey there guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing really well. Thank you so much for tuning in to my video. Um, it's another late night one and um, as always I'm quite tired um, but I'm so excited and I've been wanting to make this video now for a long time um, so I'm really happy to be here. I'm really sorry again I'm filming with the blank wall but it's late again and I'm afraid it's the only spot in my whole house where no one can hear me um, and I don't want to talk quietly because I get quite excited so um, and animated and um, so I am sorry I was really wanting to make this video actually with the daffodils in my garden and a proper spring you know background to it so um, so yeah but hopefully you can hear me okay that's the main thing so I hope you're doing really well um, in this video then I'm going to be talking about some new releases for this spring they're all either brand new or very new out quite recently so I took myself off um, over Easter and um, yeah it was a tough job but somebody had to do it yeah I went round all the department stores where I live and just spent the most idyllic heavenly amazingly fantastic gorgeous morning just literally sampling a hundred fragrances and you know I kid you not um, I've got I've got still all my <laughs> all my samples here Gosh, they smell so good. They smell so good. The ribbons are really in, aren't they? This is something I've never quite seen before. I've got lots of ribbons to show you. Um, so, you know, I've had a good spray and uh, I've narrowed down to uh, 10. I think there's about 10. Um, they're in no particular order, but just 10 that I particularly like and um, would like to recommend to you. And um, in going round, I've, I've put the ones I'm going to recommend, the samples, in this Easter basket because it's just lovely to keep them. It's the most fragrant Easter basket in the world. And there they all go. I thought that would happen. And they're all falling out. Um, so I did acquire quite a lot of samples on my travels. And um, so what I would also like to do in this video, I'm going to do a giveaway and um, I've got I've got five samples here, which um, you know I'd really love to give to someone who's watching, um, and you know share the love. You know I've got these on my travels. I've got more than enough samples, and I've stocked my mum up too. So you know we're all we're all sorted really. So um, it seems a shame. I'd love for someone out there if you'd like them to have these um so some some are not new releases um there's one uh, gucci bloom aqua de fiora that i'm going to be recommending actually in a minute um i've got a sample of that so i've got some others so maybe if you stay tuned to the end of the video if you're interested in um you know me, me sending you those i'll tell you how i'm planning on sorting that out um so yeah so um so yeah i'm just really 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 excited um and you know i'm just gonna kick off and uh, and get going really before i do i've just got my honorable mention which i do enjoy that in other people's videos um when i made this video the same time last year i recommended Narciso rodriguez's fleur musk now still a year later this is still the standout most stunning fragrance um that i've smelled um you know of that's new um it's a year old now but you know in the last year this is the one that has really stood out for me this uh, along with um batiga vanita's not um, just completely falling in love with those two and do think they're really, really stunning. So if you haven't sampled Fleur Musk, 
check that one out rosy musky really nice not new now it's been out a year but if you haven't caught that one i just wanted to mention that i loved this when i went to go and get my sample of that one absolutely beautiful um right so where shall we start so let's talk about the new um ely saab fragrance i was really excited to see in white so this is um you know a flanker of the original signature ely saab um la parfum which you know i love that beautiful orange blossom very classy fragrance and this one has still got the orange blossom note of course but it's also got uh, a white musk and patchouli um in it and it's 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 white musk so it smells musky so it's very very pretty and i think as well it's been brought out as kind of a bridal perfume with Ely Saab being the famous bridal couture designer so um i hope you can see the bottle there so i was really excited to see that's out um a lot of the ones that i'm going to talk about are flankers and actually i'm hard pushed to find a new release that isn't a flanker and it's been quite interesting um to for me to to do a lot of kind of thinking about this because some of the flankers i just don't like but then again some of them i prefer to the original um so i've kind of been a little bit split i mean this one i really don't mind at all i think it's a really beautiful nice quality take i probably wouldn't want to see too many more ely Saab flankers of the original but um i'm very happy with this one check this one out the white bottle as well apparently white and pink i've been told are this this season's colors i love pink and i love white so um brilliant loving the white bottle there's also the new Givenchy's Dahlia de Vin flanker again, beautiful white bottle. So there's lots of white bottles out there at the moment. Um, so on the note of flankers, the one which I've already briefly touched on um, that I do actually prefer to the original, this is the new Gucci Bloom, the Aqua de Fiore or de, de Fiore, apologies. I'm not Italian and I can't speak Italian, um, but I smelt this and wow, I wasn't keen on the original Gucci Bloom. I don't know why, because it's got so much promise and it's, it's you know, so floral, but I just didn't, it just didn't do anything for me. So I'm really, really happy with this one. And um well i'll tell you what's in it it's green gal galbanum tuberose jasmine and it's got this interesting rangoon creeper which is a south indian plant now basically to me this smells like the most beautiful fresh um summer's garden after the rain Oh, I just sprayed a little bit before the video because I really do like this. And, oh, I know it's a little bit too much information, but I've always harboured this fantasy, dream, whatever you want to say. It's, it's a little bit embarrassing, but of like making love in a summer's garden with the rain and i gotta be honest that's what it reminded me of this smell is just how i imagine it to smell and it's very beautiful i'm really loving this one i'm really really loving this one and i think i'm blushing a little bit now 
and probably shouldn't have said that but that is what it conjures up it is a beautiful summer's garden and it's got such a fresh green smell to it as well just like the rain uh, on the leaves so it's very very nice um and there's the bottle um i think they could have done a bit more with the bottle perhaps it's just got a sticker for this bit and i do think that looks a little bit like it could peel off or it's not the best but um that's a lovely one and i have got another sample of that to give away so if you've not smelled that one um i would definitely recommend that one so then the next one which of course oh yes i have to recommend this one it's the c passioni by armani which i have mentioned briefly on another video and to be honest it's just the bottle that i'm in love with <laughs> the fragrance is nice as well but this bottle i mean it just is so gorgeous i really should open this shouldn't i because that will show you the bottle oh, i didn't want to rip this has it got the bottle in it hang on oh i don't want to rip it no oh there we go oh, i've ripped it now so it's just the most stunning i didn't rip that very well at all did i look at that oh no oh um but it's just the most stunning red bottle gosh i love red and it's uh it says that it's um for a, for a sexy confident woman and it's that feeling they're trying to give of when a woman puts on her red lipstick that feeling that you know we we know that feeling girls of when we put red lipstick on and just in homage to that feeling tonight because i've not been feeling this red lipstick feel for a long 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 time <laughs> i've put my red lipstick on um because there is something about red lipstick and um you know that feeling i love how they're saying they're trying to encapsulate that feeling it's a fruity floral by the way with a soft vanilla um, and you know it's lovely I mean I love fruity florals it's a very pleasant smell but for me the main thing is the bottle I'm sorry to be shallow but I you know bottles are so important aren't they and that is on my wish list and my to get list in the future I must have that bottle at some point so that's a lovely one so um so that's a that's a really nice new one i think i got i'm going my little basket of yeah they they gave me a ribbon on that one um there's been a lot of ribbon spraying which hmm getting the vanilla now because it's been there for quite a, a while now since easter um yeah i'm i'm really enjoying ribbons probably i don't know I don't know why they spray them on ribbons but um so that's a really really nice one what else have i got here to recommend for you so uh oh now this is probably i would say my absolute favorite favorite um sp spring fragrance and i do know it's not brand new it's been out for a few months now i think but it, it's reasonably new and um, it's Twili um, by Hermes and this one is really really special I, I did really love this as soon as I sprayed it um, it's ginger tuberose and sandalwood and really get the, the ginger in this and I kind of feel that this is for a sort of really creative lady i can imagine someone who's quite artistic um maybe in a in a an actual artistic way with the actual arts or in like literature or music or just someone who who's quite quirky and um an individual and creative 
I just imagine that sort of woman um, to wear this and just love the bottle. Um, I'm going to actually have a quick spray of this one because if, if out of any of them that I'm talking about, this is probably the one if you haven't smelt it, I would definitely go. I would really say this is my number one. They're not in any order, but this would be... It, oh, it's very clean and soapy and fresh. But then it's got this lovely floral, smush, this tuberose must be coming through. And then this warm ginger. It's Oh, it's lovely. It's very, very different and unique, which is nice. It's nice to see something that's that's quite original um, at the moment. So, Tweely by Hermes. Tweely de Hermes. Nice, nice one. And I'm, I'm loving the little sample they gave me. They only gave me one though. So, um, and I do want to keep that one because I love it. I really love it. Uh, right, what else have we got then? Um, oh yeah, so some others that I'd like to recommend. These are all kind of in one. They're Valentino fragrances and I do think these are quite tricky to come by. I saw them in John Lewis um, in, here in the UK. So you've got, um, I've made a few notes. So you've got the blush, uh, which is, sorry, that's not the blush that's the blush the orange one so you've got valentino blush which is orange blossom and praline and then you've got the valentina pink which is strawberry blackberry rose peony amber and praline and then you've got the valentina poudre powder like a powdery negligee this is described and again i'm very shallow but it was the bottles that drew me to these three they are absolutely stunning porcelain like works of art these just gorgeous i just had the storage full on my phone um so i'm gonna have to whiz up guys and be quick whiz up that's not an expression i'm gonna have to go quickly um because um i've still got a lot to get through i'm talking far too much about each one probably um so let me just um uh, quickly i was in the middle sorry with the valentino ones um they're really gorgeous bottles they're also lovely fragrances they're beautiful for spring and summer um, and to be honest, actually, I can't be sure they're new releases, so apologies if they're not brand new. Uh, one that is brand new is the new um, La Femme Prada Low, and this one is, of course, a flanker of the original um, La Femme Prada, of which I can't imagine anyone not liking that fragrance um is it's just such a gorgeous classy fragrance um and now they've brought out the beautiful um more subtle lighter um flanker of this in a gorgeous pink bottle um it's not the first flanker they've also had an intense um la femme prada which was more of a deeper winter fragrance i've got a sample of that to give away shortly um so uh the the new la femme prada what have we got there it's frangipani mandarin orange ylang ylang and tuberose very very pretty so that's a lovely one for spring and summer um olympia aqua i never had the original olympia uh, i have smelt it i quite liked it i really like this um, I think it's perfect for spring and summer. Um, it's a really lovely fragrance. Vanilla, lemon blossom, aquatic flowers and amber. Um, so it's lovely. It says a water nymph heaven scent, salty skin, vanilla accord, a new fresh floriental. 
beautiful really really nice i did enjoy that one of lots that i sprayed so do check out the new olympia um always have to head over to aqua de palma this one i think is literally hot off the press i don't think it's um it was even released yet when i got this sample it's um chinotto di liguria chinotto di liguria it's a unisex fragrance smelt quite lemony uh, on first spritz to me i was assured by the assistant there's definitely it's definitely not lemon um it's actually uh, chinotto and mandarin blended together with rosemary cardamom jasmine sambac and musk so i was corrected on the lemon this is aqua de palma we're talking about there's no lemon here no basic lemon these are only the finest um italian mandarins and chinotto i still don't have a clue what that is <laughs> but it's lovely i mean it's really fresh it's beautiful unit just deleted facebook and youtube apps to try and get more storage this is a nightmare it's turning into one of those videos the last one I'm going to recommend, I didn't get a sample, it's the new My Burberry Blush, really pretty, really, really lovely, fresh for spring, um, moving into summer, gorgeous bottle, apologies, I haven't got anything to show you on that one, um, I've told a lie, that isn't the last one, this no storage thing, I'm losing the plot now, the new Bulgari uh, Pink Sapphire, Bulgari Omnia, sorry, Pink Sapphire. I have a ribbon. They didn't have a sample anywhere of this. I was disappointed. I think they just, they'd all gone. Um, beautiful, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. This is really, really lovely. Did I make some notes on this? Yes, it's Pink Peppercorn, Frangipani, white musk and vanilla um and again this pink theme for the spring beautiful new release from bulgari omnia range um i am gonna have to speed up i'm really disappointed but my phone's just it's it's not got the storage on it um a few that I wasn't too impressed with, um, the new Mongolan Floral, I think it's called. I was a little bit underwhelmed with that and I was a little bit sad actually to see a flanker of Mongolan so soon after the original Mongolan. It's only a year old and I really enjoyed Mongolan. I've been spraying that every so often um, from the samples I got last year and um, I really enjoy that fragrance I think it's it's really special and really really nice and um, I was just a bit oh no what's happened and you know the assistant says you know we have to keep bringing them out bringing them out every year something else something else but um, I was a little bit sad just because I didn't really like the fragrance as well, unfortunately. I mean, it was fine, but it, it didn't smell anything like the original, um, which I love. So, um, yeah, and um, it's it's a bit of a different topic, but they've changed the bottle for Idyll. Now, Idyll by Guerlain, I might do a different video on that, actually. That's one of my favourite Guerlain fragrances. And um, they've changed the bottle of it, which I was also... Oh, I was like, where's the where's the bottle? And she said, oh, they've, they've changed ages ago. And so I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to cherish my bottle now, then, that I've got. Um, I will have to show you the bottle on a different video. So, a uh, bit disappointed at Guerlain. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent... A bit underwhelmed with the new Mon Paris Couture, um, yet another flanker they're bringing out there, and um, that really gave me a big headache, a huge headache. Um, so you know, if you've if you like that one, you know, fantastic. It just wasn't for me. Obviously, beautiful bottle. It's so pretty and girly and gorgeous. And it's Paris. And, you know, it said somewhere I read 
something about a Parisian rooftop and standing on it or something and looking out over Paris. You know, I'm a sucker for all the marketing and the, the romantic imagery, but the fragrance just didn't do it for me. There's a new Cartier Panthère Eau de Toilette. Gorgeous. It is so, so nice. A subtle take on the original La Panthère, that strong gardenia. They've really toned it down. It's more fresh. It's absolutely stunning. So that's another one that I really enjoyed. I'm so conscious my phone's going to give up on me. So just to finish... Um, Oh, I've muddled up my giveaway samples with, with some other samples. So I've got Sizzly. Sizzly, they're so generous, bless them. They always give me a sample uh, when I go there. Itzia, Itzia. I've got Batiga Vanita, the original uh, Batiga Vanita. That's really nice. Uh, I've got La Femme Prada Intense. I've got Daisy by Marc Jacobs and the new Gucci Aqua di Fiori. So um, if you'd like those samples, literally just drop me a comment on this video. Just say that you're interested and you'd like them. Anyone who's interested, I'm just gonna put all your names in a hat and at the start of my very next video, I'm going to just pull a name out, uh, direct message me and I will send them out to you if I pull your name out. So that's literally what I'm going to do. So, um, yeah, just leave me a comment if you'd, you'd like me to send them to you and um, we'll see how that goes. If no one wants them, I'm quite happy to keep them and we'll add them to my Easter basket, which, by the way, smells absolutely heavenly. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit disjointed um and i hope you check out some of these new releases um and um have you come across a new release for this spring um that you'd like to share please let me know i'd love to hear from you as always so um do leave me a comment do subscribe if you haven't already subscribed i'm new on instagram i'm trying to get on it perfume on me as much as i can as time permits and um, by the way, um, I'll probably, whenever I make my next video, which will probably, to be honest, might be a few weeks, a couple of weeks, maybe. Um, that's when I'll obviously stop the, the comments for these and draw one out. So, um, so yeah, I won't do it obviously straight away or in the next few days or anything. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed and it's really late now. So sweet dreams and I'll see you again really soon. Okay, take care. Bye.